We are. Hey. I hear you better though. So, uh, can you hear me better? Yeah. Or is it too loud? It's a little. I can is hear a little. Um, that's not too loud. Yeah, it's just like a little. It's a little static. The interference. I mean, not static. All right, so um, basically, see, I'm nervous. I don't know why I was just talking about that. Like, I had everything there, and then as soon as it was time to go live, it's like started messing up and like cracking up. But we got it, and we still go roll with it and just keep it going. Sure. Um, I got focus here with me, he gonna be helping me. Like tonight, I'm also going to be interviewing him and asking him a couple of questions about, you know, he's going to talk to us about what he has going on. No. Uh, <laughs> you know what uh, he's been up to. And, you know, just give us a little bit of insight inside of his life. And we also going to talk about just the topic stay in your lane that's what i named the show tonight so um just a little bit about the podcast it's all about self-improvement um all things business entrepreneurship like not just artists any creators anybody that wants to get their message out or just talk or Whatever, just vibe. We can talk about it. Real life stuff. Real talk. That's it. Um. So first, focus. Tell us a little bit about you and who you are and what you do. Uh, I'm a 27 year old artist from Fayetteville, North Carolina. Um, I've been making music for about well all my life, but as far as like recording, actually, uh, since I was 19. So what is that? Probably about seven years now yeah. somewhere around because it was like 1920 when i started but um yeah i used to be a part of a group but right now i'm solo and just uh keeping it pushing you know being consistent with the music and the videos i just dropped a new track i'm working on a video for that and uh outside of that just you know trying to be out uh in the community trying to work with other artists trying to collaborate with other people so, so. all right that's what's up and what what really uh, originally got you into the wanting to be an artist or pursuing what you are doing right now? I always had an interest in music, but um, actually wanting to be an a artist. It came from uh, me basically seeing the interest in it when I was a kid. But then um, I was involved in band and a lot of other stuff when I was like in middle school, high school. But in college, like when I got out, you know, I pretty much didn't have anything else to do. So it kind of was a resort that I went back to, kind of wanted to take it serious. And uh, once I like what I heard, I wanted to get better at it. So I just kept going with it. All right. And you said in the beginning, um, you said just to collab with your community and other people, other entrepreneurs. Is that something that be like on your side or like in your life like something that you focus on as far as the community or just giving back yeah i definitely consider myself a people person you know uh a man of the people whatever you want to call it like i'm a very uh outgoing person but uh in a weird way i'm kind of an introvert like i stay to myself when it's time to work and when it's that time to you know you need your own space but when I'm around people, when it's time to be a community and work on some projects and get some things done, that's where most of my energy will come from. You know, it's dope to see people come together, people that you grew up with, putting in the community, doing their own thing, and then y'all can come together and make something else happen. It's a dope Yeah. Moment. Yeah. And especially when it comes to making music. <laughs> Go ahead. You said what? I said I'm big on that too. Like I'm big on yes. connecting, networking. You know, just doing whatever I can to help push or, as you know, just talk whatever to help somebody else or another entrepreneur just get out there. Like, we need that. 
and need more of it. Yeah, definitely. Um, one of the things that kind of, I feel like I'm talking too loud or the shit up. One of the things that kind of pushed me to do this podcast or really be like honest and serious about it is because it's so much like negativity and so many things that's going on in the world and a lot of voices and a lot of opinions, but not enough people speaking like positivity over it. Um, my take on it, or either just doing things to show the change or growth that comes with going after any any career, um, being an entrepreneur, whatever it may be. A lot of people idolize that stuff, but they don't show like the other sides to it or what people had to do to get to where they are, or they idolize a lot of like. I don't know, like stuff that don't make me mean anything or, you know, so that's that going to make the change or a difference. Huh? Yeah. Things that don't hold value to it. I was just agreeing with what you were saying. So how would you describe the music that you typically create? Versatile. And um, what's another word I use? unique i like that word <laughs> i know a lot of people say like oh i don't sound like nobody else but yeah my son is, is really different and that's on purpose like i feel like i almost tried to create my own sound you might can relate my tone of voice or a certain flow to a certain body uh certain people but that's music you know it all comes together but as far as my delivery as a whole and one track compared to the next but all or even a project of mine straight down it flows well together, don't get me wrong, but they're completely different uh, bodies of work. You different. You don't get on and try to be like somebody else or something that's already out. You try to create something that's different and give a different flavor. Right. Uh, I, I, don't I got it. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. I was just saying, I'm not trying to necessarily create a new wave or, you know, create new trends or nothing like that but i am trying to be myself and the people like that if people latch on to that that's dope you know uh i think mean. originality <laughs> that's true i got a clip of your song i wanted to play it oh yeah um, they just yeah. Hear some good music <laughs> I don't know why I said, I was like, I, you know, when you uh, pre plan some stuff and you play everything and you have everything going the right way, and then as soon as it's time to do it, everything just start it up. Yep. That's what I was saying before we started. That's how it goes sometimes. So I guess while I'm waiting for that to go, do you, uh, you playing it from your email or you want me to see the link again from uh like apple no nah, i got it it's just taking like a second to load up okay you good i don't know because i got all this stuff or what let it take a little uh a little minute if you need to all right there you go. can you hear it i can't Appreciate it.
Y'all go check that out right now. It's called yeah, I go download it. Yeah, on all streaming platforms, wherever you listen to your music, you can find me on there. Just search my name, Focus, P H O C U S. Look for my face, you see me, and I'll be there. I like it. That beat, God bless you. That oh, beat yeah. is like, I like the beat. That's what I told my homie. I said, Yeah, the beat of anything will catch him. Yeah, that beat, right? I was gonna be like, <laughs> well, I was hey. listening to it before. I'm always right. I like it, like the beat. I listen to music these days for not the lyrics, but more so for the beat because it seems like, like we were talking about, mostly everybody making the same. They rapping about the same stuff, but like nothing's like nothing's, nothing's original. Talking about, yeah, yeah. That's why it's easier for me to talk about my life or what I got going on and my own experiences because anybody else, I mean, don't get me wrong, people do what I'm doing, but when you talk about it from your own perspective, it makes it more interesting. So that way people relate to it more so than you just saying what everybody else is saying. It's a difference. Yep. You, know? yep. you just got, you got to know how to spin it. You got to know how to spin it. So uh, what's your creative process like? Like, how do you, what's your... How do you go about creating? I really just be in my thoughts. Um, I try not to stress about what I'm doing too much. I have my idea. I know what I'm trying to do. Even if I don't know what I'm trying to do, like I just take it a step at a time. That's the best way. Because it's a confusing process, really. It's hard to explain. But the best way I can explain it is to not stress and to follow steps. Like set up a little pattern. Accomplish one goal at a time before you know mm -hmm. what you're doing. You know what I mean? Like, and you can look back and say, wow, I started off with this much and I got this much done and now I got a whole thing accomplished. So that's the best way that I can say uh, that I make music that I put because I got interviews coming in that I'm trying to do with the city. This interview, too. Uh, you know, just different types of things, different collaborations, just different work period. That's how I feel the best way to accomplish it is just to take it a step at a time. Yeah, that's what anything in life you got to. Right. That's why I was like finding and finding your success. Like that was like the bottom phrase after the stay in your lane. Because a lot of people, you know, they're trying to do certain things and they're comparing it to other people. When we're all, it's a different process for everybody. You're not right. gonna jump right. in it and be on the same stage as one person may be and you have to stop comparing just life in general period to somebody else's success because what you want out of life it might not be what the same the other person want like for me success is it's just being alive being happy being able to wake up every day and get another chance to try again and just do better you know like that success is not just all about money because you can have money and still be dead and broke in spirits and in life period you know That's so it's just knowing how to to balance and not take what you weak at and what somebody else may be better at and you take those weaknesses and try to build off them and make them stronger or just build off of the things that you are good at because we all can it's man i'm telling you it's so much that we all can be doing and i it is that's why I like collabing. I'm pretty sure that's the same reason why you like the community efforts too, because like you said, where I might lack, you might be, that might be your strength, you know? We use them type of uh, 
just that mentality. You know what I mean? Like you help me where I need help and vice versa. And the next man, the next woman do the same thing. The community overall, the world will be better. But you know, you got those type of people that want to be on top, that want to be known for it, which isn't a bad thing. I understand people do want to be known. I understand that. But when you hot, uh, hold that to a higher accountability to what you're actually doing, that's that's when it's a problem. Yeah, it's crazy. Hey, it's crazy you said that because I took this. Um, I left it on my screen for when we was talking. It's this app. I don't know if you can. It's an app. The it girl, it hold, on. It, hold it for a second. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's still not going to well it's like it's a bible app like every day like mm-hmm. if anybody ever asked me what was the one thing or the one person that i could say that helped me get through everything that i have in life like period was just reading the bible and god instead of like when i have an issue or a problem to go to him and i stop praying for like just me and little small simple stuff you know like you wake up every day it's oh god bless my food you know bless this please pray over my best for this but we're always praying for us like selfish prayers mm-hmm. when like this quote said in here it was like the content of our prayers and what we want and what we ask for is so much more it's more deeper than that and it tells us more about ourselves and our relationship with god and if we were to leave or like die tomorrow were the things that you prayed about like within that first that last week or within just the last month was it anything that possibly changed like the world your situation like your life period or was it like selfish stuff like people pray to get pray for you no know, like in general oh because i was gonna say like it's funny that you said it because i made it a habit when i was younger just because of what my mom told me that i like not always just pray for myself you know when i do pray i pray for the people that i know family of course too uh, friends and their families and you know just that his will be done my mom always told me how to pray for that because instead of praying for like what i want to happen you got to pray that his will be done and i used to be scared. i'm gonna keep it real you know what i'm saying because i used to be scared to pray for that because i'd be like all right what if his will ain't me rapping you know what i mean but if that's really what you want to hear of the outcome facts like you know in your heart you know in your heart that's what you want to do he know that too like my mom always say, God knows your heart. So if that's what you want to do in your heart, that's your pastor for real, he's going to find a way to make it happen. You just got to trust that he's going to do it for you. Yeah. Once, you believe that, once you believe that, it's going to start lining up. That's how it's been working for me, you know. Anytime somebody tell you me, like, do oh, you doing good, bro? Yeah, like, I'm like, hey, I appreciate it. But, you know, it's all God. You know, like, that has nothing to do with it. It has something to do with me. Don't get me wrong. I'm putting in work. But at the same time, like, it's, God is the reason why. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like if I wasn't brought up, Oh, what's up, froze? Was that my screen or yours? You bet. Come back. I had the last screen froze. Was that my screen or yours? It was both of my screen. But we back though, so we straight. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's part you said. Uh, uh, but that's real yeah, though. I was just basically weird. Said, that's real. Oh. That is real. It's like we be scared of the outcome yeah. of scared. It was like, I think the name the name of the plan that I was reading it was called like um, dangerous, dangerous prayers because you know like you pray for the little things but you scared like you said you ask for His will to be done but then when you pray you're like hold up but you gotta believe it and have faith that when you ask it you gonna let Him just do it like and that's how it is when you do that. It's like so many different things change in your life and you just allow him to take over and use you in so many different areas and so many different things just start happening. It's like, it's crazy. Yeah, it, it kind of goes back to what you were saying earlier too. It's like, it's about your time. Like, he gonna move on his time, but it's gonna be the right time. A lot of people get, oh, well, such and such did it. Buddy started three weeks ago. Bro started two months ago and they already own. I've been doing it for 10 years and I still ain't on yet. Like you worried about the wrong that's probably why you're not on because you worried about why they on and you not and that's affected like without noticing people don't realize that affects your music that affects the way you connect with people because now you hating or you slick don't want to talk to her because you know what i'm saying now the networking thing that could have happened not, yeah you know what i mean like just be cool be patient keep stay down because i can say the same thing i know people that's like 
in favor that got way more followers than me and they started like in the last couple of years but i've been working since 2013. it'd be uh 10 years and two years so like eight years i've been working like inconsistently too like i've been dropping mixtapes projects singles all that went from a group to just like i mean the people that was in the group to my knowledge they're still working it's just you know things ain't really work out with us not to say we'll never work together again but as a group i don't know just as a right. kind of shaky <laughs> Sometimes you got to step out and be on your own. Yeah, like, it ain't no problems like not like that. It's just like, you know, things happen and you got to keep moving regardless. That's all it is. So, but yeah, I just I just want to try to get as much positivity out there as I can. That's why I'll be touching on things like that. Hey, that's what it's all about now is positivity. Kindness is free. You gotta sprinkle that everywhere. Like everywhere. That's I no negativity. The negativity, even acknowledging it or confronting it with somebody, yeah. it's a waste of energy and it makes you look mad. Like why yeah. do it? You can put yeah. that energy into something else. Like it's just all about finding your own balance. And if you don't like something, if you don't like something, if you don't like, so I'm gonna repeat this. If you don't like something that somebody is doing, right. if you don't like the way that they sound, if you don't like the way that they're creating certain things or how they're running their business or how they are doing this, it's not your business to worry about. If you don't like it, stop looking at it. Stop following it. It's a button that says unfollow, block, all of that. Don't spread the negativity. You know, sometimes that energy, you may say that people be saying their energy is good, but sometimes that energy be coming from a negative place when it's coming it's supposed to be positive, but it comes from a negative place. And don't, don't like, don't take advice from everybody. That's yeah. another thing. All, all of us like that. <laughs> My uncle told me that. Oh, for real that's real so that's like i ain't gonna go into like all the things that i was gonna hit on the key points on here because i did like a whole full blog post on it so for anybody that want to know like more this was basically just me talking about finding your strengths and your weaknesses because it's like everybody we all come to a point in life where you gotta be like dang is this if you go 10 or 12 years and you're consistently doing the same thing over and over again you constantly find yourself getting into conflicts with people every time you turn around it's something negative going on or you know that energy is always bad you have to take a step back and look in the mirror and be like maybe it's me like you know it makes some changes and move that energy around so this is just you know me dropping some tips and different things that you can do to just challenge that or if you dealing with people that you're trying to let go of that's constantly on that negative like keep dancing stuff like this do, you know? yeah, for real. Uh, i said it's hard to do like people don't realize that's why they call it a connection like it's a connection you feel me like it's hard to break but it's possible you know the, the sooner yes. you realize it's for the better, the sooner you realize that your life might not be what it's supposed to be as long as you hold on to some of those negative things, it's going to be a little bit easier to let them go, though. You got to have, like how you said, how you got to improve. You just got to have talks with yourself. You're not crazy for talking to yourself. That's going to help you get better. Uh, you sound like one of those motivational speakers, too. You should man, do that. Right. <laughs> my, my, my mom be saying that, man. She's been telling me that since I was a teenager. But you know, there's a way to do that through music too. So you know, she's not wrong. Yeah, she's not wrong. It is. It's expressing yourself. It's an art. Be it, music is creative too. Like a lot. Of, I love the people who create music and they have stories. I love stories behind it. Like Story anybody coming. that creates stuff. Yeah. Like period. I got some to sing. Story. Huh? I got, I got some tracks to sing. All right. Like Story for real. Track. I love it. It's, it's, it, it, we got too much negative stuff going on. Like, yeah. just need to be filled with positivity and continue to be better people, um, show our kids that they could be better people. It's too many resources. It's too many people out here who's willing to help, who everybody ain't bad and the world is, is still full with good people. Like, 
and it's like it's a wave going on right now and yeah. it's a lot of people waking up and they catching on and people just getting on board like this things being created things being done like people just I love it. I've been so happy, like for the last couple months. Like, bro, I'm trying to tell you, nothing can, nothing can take away what I got going on. <laughs> you know why though, right? Why is that? It's because people are asking questions now. Before people are scared to ask questions, they was like, "Oh, just do what they say." They ain't yeah. Them. They're the leaders. You gotta listen to them, or don't ask no questions. They gonna hit you or whatever. They gonna make sure you don't ask no more questions. Like, People just not, excuse my language, people not giving a fuck no more. They're, they're asking questions. They're getting to the answers, and they demand the answers. So, you have to. You're supposed to. You're supposed right. to want to know in everything that you do, you should be asking questions. Not just... It, it's, it's happening, though. It's happening. Yeah. People sure. uniting. Like, it's so many beautiful things still going on in the midst of all the bad stuff. Like, it is. And I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I'm here to support it. Like, that's why I said anybody, not just people who make music. If you write books, if you are a stylist, like anything, I want to be able to. I know I might not have a huge, super huge platform. And my audience and the people that I network with and that I build relationships with, we all kind of mesh and like the same thing. So... You know, I just want to have something to be able to showcase other people and them to be able to tell their story or, you know, us just talk, just whatever. Right. <laughs> that's it, pretty like much. Mine, you know, yeah, people that agree with what your mind saying, people that's moving in the same direction, you know. For, yeah. Things like that. I done met some dope people online, like, for real, in the last couple of months. A lot of bad things happen at the same time. <laughs> I met a lot of people that I wish I wouldn't have never met or came in contact with and connected with. But at the same time, I have met some really dope people online, especially within these last year or this last month or so. I really have been connected with a lot of people. Yep. Everybody being forced to work online now, you know, because of the whole Corona thing going on. So it's a good thing. It's letting people know that you ain't really got to keep it traditional. You can if you want to. No disrespect to nobody that is, but... You don't have to, you know. There's people making millions of dollars off their phone, chilling on the couch. Like, you know what I mean? Like that's real life. It's actually happening. With PJs on, still, right? <laughs> you don't got to stress yourself out. I hear making this bread, bro. You can do something quick, like some stocks, get invested in the net, put some money back into the community, and let that build up. You know, like just invest whatever you personally can get your hands in, whatever you like. Per- invest into that. It's gonna come back. I'm telling you, I with patience, hard work, and then I'm trying to tell you with anything, money will with patience, but yeah. if you invest in time and invest some money into something, nine, not nine times out of ten, you know, you're getting it right back. Yeah. Everything is set up now to where it's like automated and residual, and if you're not on that wave, then you're missing out anyway. You need to get with somebody who can teach you something that knows something about <laughs> something and get on it. I'm telling you. <laughs> That's real though. Because I mean, that's what I'm telling people. It's like, it's, it's too easy to make money. Like, it, it might not be like the billion dollars as soon as you start, but the process, people want to skip the process. You know what I mean? Like, I'm down with the process. I've been knowing it was a process since I was like nine years old, man. I, I'm with the process. I'm down to put in the work, especially if I know the work won't get me the end result. I'm with it. And you just got to sit down until it pop off. Just make sure that you're staying consistent. Like, don't fall off just because it ain't working out right now. Mm-hmm. Or stop and then start something else. Like, you got to take that good, the good days and the bad days. That every day ain't going to be good. Yeah. Shoot, even people that got million-dollar businesses still go through things. You know, they just learn how to maneuver it and find another process and that's, go that's through why, it. That's why I like to use the term made it or make it because that's when people get comfortable. Like, oh, mm-hmm. I get the $10 million, I'm good. Like, then you get that $10 million and you're chilling. Like, it's not going to run out. <laughs> Especially nowadays. $10 million ain't shit. Yeah, that, I'm trying to, yeah. <laughs> couple years, you're going to be right back looking crazy. Like, you get 10 find a way to make it 20 Find a way to make it 50 You feel me? Like, add it up. Yeah, yeah. Keep going. Now, that's the way I feel. That's why I like it. back and reach back and help somebody else. 
I, I know I'm gonna be a successful person regardless of it, you know what I'm saying? Be on the, the time frame that I thought, like I said earlier, it's gonna happen in the right time anyway, so I ain't really tripping about that. It's just that the things that I say, like I know all oh, successful people say that and that like it's not that oh I watched it and then I repeated it. I was already saying and thinking that and then I was like, Oh, word, that's how y'all think too? That's dope. Like this is already my mindset. Yeah, you know, it's all from my mom and stuff like that. Yeah, you know, it was the way I was talking, the way I was brought up, but it's just dope to see the affirmation and the uh, the confirmation that you're yeah. you on the right path, bro. Just keep it up, pretty much. Because you might start really thinking, like, okay, am I, am I doing something wrong? Like, For real. I get, I feel you. I'll be on the same thing. Just watching it and speaking it into existing it and watching it. I sent a text, a text like that today that's crazy to, like, two of uh, I can say my close friends or two of the people that I talk to kind of about everything. I was like, it's crazy. I'm basically watching. I feel like I recreated my own life and I'm watching all my dreams like come true in front of my face. To somebody else, it may not be big things, but to me, it is like I'm doing everything that I said I wanted to do. I'm doing it and I'm accomplishing things that I said I wanted to and I'm, I'm just doing it and it feels good. People don't realize how powerful that is, right? Mm-mm. Clap it up, man. You know what? Clap it up for yourself. If you ain't doing that all year, <laughs> if you ain't doing that no point in your career. Yeah, everybody clap it up for yourself. Clap it up for yourself. Because a lot of people don't realize, man, like that's that's needed, first of all. And secondly, you know what I'm saying? Like it ain't enough to tell yourself that. Sometimes you need to hear from other people, you know? That's why I'm trying to bring people together, like I'm saying. Like I've started groups before and they... You know what I'm saying? And I started groups now, you know, and they kind of hold them together. Now it's like, okay, let's support each other. If ain't nobody else going to support us, at least we know we got this group. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And you never know. The support from that group could push it out to where it goes somewhere. You know? like, yeah. It's just about, like I said, staying consistent and putting in the work. Something's going to happen. And believing in yourself. And sometimes you don't need <laughs> and encourage them to that. They don't need an audience. A lot of people think oh, yeah, yeah. you need an audience or think that you have to get confirmation and affirmation from other people. I even be your own biggest fan. I'm trying to tell you, celebrate yourself. You don't need no celebration or <laughs> nobody to celebrate with you. Audiences is loyal. It's to good. The it's an extra, but. Yeah. You heard me though? Uh, audiences is loyal to the performer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Say it's a dance battle. I could be out here hitting that, uh, ah, uh, uh, getting it, right? And you come up here and hit a better move than me. They don't even care about me no more. They're like, oh, no more, yeah. See what I'm saying? <laughs> quick. Too quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't don't put your faith in the audience. You know, appreciate them. Notice that they notice your talent, but don't put your faith in them. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Definitely. They, the next wave. they be on to the next wave. Quick. And they'll let you know, hey, bro, you old. Uh, yeah, that was last week. What you did lately, like. Man, I put all my work into it. Like, that's cool, but we on to something else now. Like, they ain't gonna spread no, especially nowadays on social media, you know, they ain't spreading no feelings. Oh, man. We had comments. I didn't get to see that. Oh, uh, where the comments at? I don't see none. I didn't get to see them. Oh, wait, let me see. Oh, we do got comments. Where they at? Hey, what's happening? Uh, I got some fam in here. Got some people in here. How y'all doing? What's good, y'all? said the new online career what's happening yes 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 if you ain't online sure, sure. and research things for yourself yeah this is gonna be posted though right okay now i'll see the comments. yeah it should be up there the sky's the limit yeah and i'm working on uh i've been experimenting with these i'm gonna be doing a lot of videos showing y'all how to use this stuff too because i know a lot oh, of yeah. people do similar stuff that i do and be wanting to know how to do all of this so i'm gonna start doing a lot of these first time tuning in this is dope thank you um i wasn't i I wasn't paying attention yeah but this is hot because you can have the comments go here and like (laughs) communicate with them so we definitely hey angle cut uh angle cat you and a uh, flight class radio y'all my favorite people to interview with so far for real i want to do an interview with them oh yeah y'all should definitely set one up that'd be dope to watch the two of y'all interview each other because uh i did an interview with them i think last month they all cool and like 
I like both of y'all vibe because the chemistry is like it's neutral. It's uh it ain't forced, like we were saying yesterday. Yeah. It's neutral and it's natural, like, you know. The scripted stuff, it's we watch too much of that on TV. That should be fake. Like, it's played out. Fake. It's played like people can sniff the fake nowadays, you know, like people not just about to sit down and watch some fake like you can even watch the commercials. Like we getting tired of them cheesy commercials, like bro, like who recorded this? Who approved this? Like Right. You know how that go. So and one more time, let them know like where they can look not look you up, but follow you and learn more stuff. More um figure out what you got coming up next. Like your social media links, all that stuff and let us know. I'm gonna say we gotta run down the list. Let me get my glasses and all that. Uh all right, so well, y'all need to know my Facebook because that's my government name. We ain't saying all that. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> the Instagram is um, what is my okay? My Instagram is underscore focus p h o c u s underscore. So it's underscore focus underscore. My Twitter is underscore focus. It's what same way. Uh, YouTube is focus underscore smf. Or actually, just focus SMF, no underscore. My um, my SoundCloud is focus hyphen instead of the underscore SMF. And um, any streaming sites, just type in focus. Like I said, look at my face. I pretty much have my face on all my uh, cover art. If not the cover art, I think my actual artist page has my picture on it. So you see me with dreads, you know it's me. Subscribe uh, to my YouTube. Follow my Spotify uh follow me everywhere that you can follow me subscribe everywhere you can subscribe <laughs> <laughs> i'm streaming everywhere i've been having streaming music since what 2017 2018 so i got a full discography i got a full catalog for y'all to go back and do research and check out i got music videos on youtube that's out that's coming out i got plenty of homework for y'all to do is what i'm saying so check me out leave your comments leave your likes let me know what you like let me know what you don't like, you know, because we in this together. Like, I don't call y'all fans. I call y'all supporters because, you know, that's what you're doing for me. Uh, a, a fan is somebody that's fantasizing and fathomed by the fact that you exist. That's cool, you know, but I'm not pressed about that. Uh, I'm more concerned with a connection with the actual people. You know, like I said, I'm a man of the people. So yeah, as long as we stand in the community and we doing right by y'all, you know, I just want to put out some good music for y'all to vibe with. I'm going to do some dope, dope things in the community with other artists, with other People, you know, just just doing their own thing. Period. We go live. So this one, I <laughs> gonna take that one. I need to start going live more. I'm supposed to do it once a week, and I'm always looking for a guest, um, or a co-host or somebody to come on with me. So you can hit me up in my inbox on my personal page or on Real Talk with Sharita. I promise I'm gonna start getting on and doing one. You, you know, I'll come back on, uh, come back on for a co-host and all that. Just let me know. You want to? Yeah, for sure. I, we, right. already, we already got the vibe going anyway, so that's cool. We can come back and talk about anything. So, anytime you down, Somebody, you know. repeat your YouTube Dude. again. Okay, it's a uh, focus P H O C U S S M F. That's my label. It stand for uh, Smoke Music Family. Not in no particular order, you know. It's just what I'm about and what the whole label stand for, what we, what we move about, you know. How we come. And I'll leave that, too. In the bottom of all the description, it's a link for that, too. And make sure y'all go read the full blog. I mean, read that blog post, too. Definitely. Y'all subscribe to read the channel, too. Don't just look at the YouTube and be on there. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll personally link so we can work. All right, that's all the stuff is inside of oh, yeah. the description. His info, all of his links. I think I put everything up there for SoundCloud. You didn't give me that one. What, SoundCloud? Yeah, I don't mm -hmm. think I gave you my song. I mean, but to be honest, I got music on there, but I haven't been pushing my SoundCloud because I'm more so concerned with the streaming sites. I do need to, uh, my most recent EP is still up there. So I'm somewhat caught up. I just got to put the recent singles up there. So what's different from SoundCloud? Than the other platforms, to where you kind of like from me, that. or you mean just general? Yeah, for in, well, for you and in general, for anybody else that may be like the artist you use that. All right, uh, 
<clears throat> I'm gonna just speak for me because uh, I started off on SoundCloud because you know it's free. You can pretty much upload as much music as you want with the free, but if you pay like I think it's seven or something amount a month or a year, you get to yes. upload unlimitedly. Now, I don't. A lot of people shit on SoundCloud, but I don't. You know, it's just it's the thing the shit on SoundCloud. But it's a good way to get your music out there, especially if you're just starting. There's people that will reach out. There's people that will, uh, communicate with you and let you know if your music is hot or not. They'll let you know what you need to work on. People really leave comments. You know, you just got to keep putting your music. They see consistency. But the reason why I moved to streaming platforms is because I wanted to actually make revenue off of my music at the same time as well as getting it streaming. And then at the same time, I wanted to be more available. A lot of people were like, oh, are you on Apple Music? Are you on Spotify? And I was like, well, no, I'm just on SoundCloud. Which seemed like the better option because it's the free option. But a lot of people actually have Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal. And now that I'm on all those platforms, it just it covers more ground, basically. You, you just want to have your foot in every door possible so something go land, you know? And that goes back to what you were saying when you was like, somebody could be on and then the next thing will come out. Because SoundCloud was like yeah. a couple of years ago when it first came out. Now everybody on Apple, Spotify, yeah. yep. like they just give more and do more stuff. Now, now it's TikTok. You know, because if you get your music on TikTok, if you get people to do dances or you get them to do a little quick video to your shit, pop it. See, I don't buy with TikTok like that. I, I, I don't see like the ads for like the business side, but it's like five, four or five artists I can name right now that got popping off of TikTok. Like, yo, so bro, it's bro, it's up there. Yes. I mean, I'm not going to say like, I ain't the type of person to jump on the way. Like I said, I don't ever bite or copy somebody else's shit. But, you know, if, if it's an opportunity, make it. Because, uh, I use a Foyata, don't know if you're an artist. I use DistroKid. It's a, a distribution service that charge $20 a year, unlimited streams, get all you, and load as much as you want, as much as possible for a year. Get it done. Put in that work. Because that's what I use, and they just actually added TikTok to their distribution, so that's why I brought it up for it to say, like, okay, my music, if you on TikTok and you like my music, you want to do a dance tour or something like that, look me up. I'm up on everything. If you want Instagram and you like my music, you want to put it in a story with the lyrics, I can do all that too. All my stuff is up there. Yeah, Certain songs that. might not have the lyrics because, you know, I, I got to get some of them cleared. I got to type some of them out. But for the most part, they up there. The song's up there for sure. I don't know how I respond. I got to learn how to respond back to this. So for me, um, my info is linked in there too. But you can message me on, I don't know where you, if you're looking from Facebook, if you're on I Facebook. I think because it got the Facebook <laughs> my personal inbox or you can go to the real talk with Rita. i'm gonna leave a comment in there oh i can't post it right there be learning at the same time <laughs> hey i really like this book i got and i want to give what's that, her name um a shout out to this lady named helen martin she got like a facebook group i joined it like i think two years ago Damn. where i was trying to get over my fear of learning how to go live but i never really finished it but she really teaches you like a lot of cool stuff about facebook and different like apps and platforms that you can use to create like videos and all that stuff that's dope i might need to set up and with her too because uh i ain't gonna say i had a fear of going live but for me it was like all right i don't know what i'm gonna do yeah i i don't I'll be doing stuff that I don't be doing stuff, you know? So it's just like, all right, I'm chilling. I'm chilling again. Right. <laughs> so all right. now that I got more uh, music to show or whatever, I, I just figured, like, I'll just go live when I'm recording something or trying to work in the studio. People like to see that type of stuff. They do. They like, people like seeing more content with you actually doing something now versus... Mm -hmm typing and stuff like that i've been learning that too a lot like you get more engagement yeah like business. i said earlier the pro see. people like to see the process all right well we gonna tap out of here y'all i did leave his info down like i said in the description and mine too you can go back and watch it if y'all like make sure y'all like it subscribe please to my channel as well as his You'll be seeing focus again on here too. He's gonna be my co-host. Well, thank y'all for rocking out with us. Appreciate y'all. I'm gonna leave out with um your song, the little last bit of it. All right, but we out of here.
Make sure y'all go download that. Y'all go download it right now. <laughs> and that song I got stuck in my head, too. Hey, that's the best thing I can hope for. All right, y'all. We'll holler at y'all later. Have a good night. Be blessed. Stay prayed up. I've been going places that you can't go.